Let's face it, I didn't have to come to France just to give a lecture on macroeconomics, but I wanted to come to a different country to talk about it because macroeconomics is more about the national level, but we always think about the national level being American. Well, unless you're an international student at FM, you probably haven't been too often out of America. But uh, here in Europe, you realize there's a lot of different economies, a lot of different countries, and uh, a lot of different forms of government, which is what we want to talk about. Now, I'm going to begin by talking about capitalism and some of what I think capitalism is. Capitalism is many buyers, many sellers having the right to do what they want with their time, their effort, their energy. By time, I'm referring to their human capital as well as their physical capital, money and, and uh, whatever it takes, the skills to be able to make that product and they have the right to sell it. And we don't think a whole lot about that in America because we're essentially considered a capitalist nation, though we have many uh, portions of our economy are, are socialistic in nature. We have what's called a mixed economy. Most economies are mixed. We don't really think a whole lot about that. Here in France, they uh, recently elected a socialist president. That is to say, he's a member of the Socialist Party, and he's an avowed socialist, despite being a, a multi-millionaire. We have a principality. I don't know why they have a principality, but they do. And what that means is they, know they don't have all the same choices in, in terms of their lives, because they have somebody who 700 years ago had an ancestor who stormed that palace. And that's why that person now controls some of the lives of the citizens of this little community. Learning about macroeconomics is a lot like learning about other cultures. There are different schools of thought. On the, on the left, you have Karl Marx and communism. You have uh, socialism. And uh, if you head toward the right, you're going to get people like Frederick von Hayek, who's so in the Austrian school of economics. In the middle, let's call it, uh, on the left, we'll have John Maynard Keynes. He's the father of macroeconomics. He, if it weren't for him, this course wouldn't exist. Back in the 1930s, he said government needs to get involved, particularly in the short run, to fix the problems in the economy, as opposed to Milton Friedman, who died just a few years ago. He was uh, a monetarist in the Chicago School of Economics, and he felt as though uh, government should stay out of these kinds of things. It's back in, I think, the 1690s when the Minister of State said to some French businessmen, what can we do to help? And they said, laissez-nous faire, which means, leave us alone. Staying out of our way is the best help you can provide. With that, let's get started.